What's up guys? Welcome to my tutorial click to express and today we'll be discussing on pick and match functions in ClickSense. So what is pick and ma match function? So pick returns you the values of the position set or given. Uh, so and whereas the match returns you the position of the matched value. Okay, so this is uh, uh, pick and match are oppo uh, just work opposite to each other. So let's first theoretically understand what it's gonna be showing you in the data. So for example, I have a box over here and a second, I'll just color it. And I have one more box which is giving me the, which I'll be entering some values. So if I write a pick function, then if I, if I give you a value over here as one, what it's gonna be showing me or returning me is the, is is the position one value that is January if I give two it will return me February but if I give something value here as four or three or not three four five or six anything like that I don't have anything here in fourth or fifth position so I don't have anything in fifth position so it will return me null over here similarly if in if I if I write it over here as ten it will return me null values now if you move to match, so match just uh, act op just opposite to the pick. So what we have to write here, instead of writing in the positioned value, we'll be writing here the value which we uh, which it will search over here and returns as the position. So suppose if I write here March, so what it's gonna be doing, it will search the entire table or entire entire data and it will return me three because March is in the third position so no, whereas if I write something like XYZ so it will search here entirely and since he didn't find anything for XYZ it will return me null so match returns me the position of the data by matching the exact data whereas pick returns me the, the value which, which is being uh, uh, which is being positioned or which is being asked by the user or maybe a calculative value <coughs> sorry so suppose you have any uh, it can be it cannot it's not only that it, you will have only one static value like one two or something you can always have a calculative value like if you write a, a condition over here and it returns you some value based on that returned value it will uh, you know uh, return you the respective data so let's see how it's gonna happen so if you go here in the click, I have created an inline table which is giving me month from 1 to 12. So what I'm gonna do is, in the front end I'll go and pick up a filter pane and simply give the month over here. Similarly, I'll just go over here and take the text object. And in the measure, what I'm gonna write here is P-I-C-K pick in the bracket I'll write a more and th month give comma. Let's write J A N U A R Y January F E B R U A R Y February. So I already okay. I missed a single code over here. So what I'll do is I'll just write this fast in the process. I have already written this and kept. So I'll just copy the entire data from there and place it. Now, if I place apply, see there is no selection made. Let's do done. So if I select two, it will return me February. So if I select eleven, it will return me November. Now, if nothing is selected, that means it will give you so uh, it will give you nothing, a null value. Now if we move to the match function, so instead of writing pick, I'll write here as match T M A T C H match. Now I don't have a data to show you for match. What I'll do is I'll create an inline table very quickly. So what I'll do is happened okay I'll just remove this for now 
what I'll do is I'll quickly create a line table I'll give give it as like a more than th month and I'll write J N U A R Y January F E B U A R February. Switch part. So for now, just take it three months. I'll reload the data. Or let's take a one more value, which can be something like X Y Z. So if I reload this data now, so now you will see in the month column what we have is January, February, March. So if I select February, so it's gonna do it will return me the position of February. So we have February in the second position. Suppose if I select March, it will return me the position of March. So we have a X Y Z value. If you select the X Y Z value, it's gonna be returning me zero or a null value if you write it uh, if you write a if condition and state it that if it returns zero return me null so what uh, so it will be returning you a null value so um, or so for now if you select any other value say it like uh, i'll select january it will return me the position of january so it it is uh, returning you the position so that's all for pick and match thank you have a nice day